Pope Francis met January 20th with U.S. bishops from Region 10, who were on their ad limina visits to Rome. The Mass at the, the altar of the Confession of Peter really sort of set the tone for me meeting with Pope Francis, because honestly, I was a bit nervous, you know, meeting the Pope and everything, but at that liturgy, it just reminded me I'm just a man, he's just a man. We're both trying to fulfill that call of being successors of the apostles. I did ask him about the uh, McCarrick situation, and I can say he did give some perspective. He broadened my understanding of the whole issue, um, and it was very helpful. Bishop Strickland drew widespread attention in August 2018 for a public statement saying he found credible the allegations made by retired Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, the former nuncio to the United States, who alleged that top Vatican officials, including Pope Francis, knew that then Cardinal Theodore E. McCarrick had been accused of sexual misconduct. My message was it does need to be dealt with. Um, I would love to have seen it totally disproven, which I think it hasn't been. I mean, there definitely were elements there, um, and, and possibly Archbishop Vigano went overboard on some issues. I mean, he's just a man also. Archbishop Vigano said Pope Francis should resign. I never intended to embrace that because I mean, that's a, a major thing to say. I don't know if Archbishop Vigano still stands by that or not. Um, I certainly didn't want to validate that, but I said, these allegations about McCarrick need to be investigated, and they have been. Catholic News Service asked Bishop Strickland if he thought Pope Francis had known about the allegations against McCarrick since 2013 as Archbishop Vigano claimed. Honestly, I'd have to say I don't know. Um, and speaking again of nuance and, and looking at the real context of things, because some of the things that Pope Francis said makes you realize it's always a bigger picture than maybe the slice that you're looking at. He did indicate a broader context that you know, is challenging for all of us. So I certainly am not ready to, to judge the actions and the moment of, of any of the pontiffs. Ah.